Hello everyone and welcome to this quick exercise example on how to study any subject to expand your visual library. In this example, I study six different armor sets and then apply what I learned by doing a character design made by the examples I studied. It's always important to apply what you learned right away, otherwise you will definitely forget it a couple of days later. There is no point to study subject for the sake of studying. You need to apply what you learn to make sure that you solved all the problems revolving around the subject. Whatever the subject is, make sure you put it to use right away by doing character designs or environmental designs based on what you learned right away. So I will show you in this video how I usually study a subject and how I apply it afterwards. So let's start with the study phase. As you can see here, I started by doing the helmets by itself. I didn't just draw the whole armor as one piece. I study it as units. The helmet, the underlayers, the shoulder, the arms, the legs, and finally the weapons. This way you will get more familiar on how armor pieces work together. And how does each part attach to the other part. And what do you see in the underlayers and what comes on top. So first I studied set of helmets with different designs and styles. You can also see me after I finish each piece that I write certain notes on the side to make me remember how the unit works and what material does it use. These notes are important to make sure you remember what you draw and how to draw it again without a reference.
Next, I draw the main piece for the torso, but I draw it layer by layer, understanding how the soldier would be able to wear it layer by layer. It's always important to study design part by part, so you know how it's made and how it's used. I did the same thing before with the alloy character design study. Also notice that I draw a mannequin torso first, to make sure I'm applying the design of the torso and not just copying what I'm seeing from a reference. I'm adapting the design I'm seeing in the reference photo with different position to the mannequin torso I made. This way I will understand it even more. Next, the shoulder piece, I know this part by the way have names when it comes to armor lingo, but let's just call it shoulder piece. I'm applying it also on the torso mannequin that I made before.
also drew a mannequin arm for the next part and drew the different arm pieces design on top of it. Next, the leg pieces. Finally, the weapons, including shields and swords. Now that I'm done with the study phase, let's design the character based on all the previous design we just studied. As you can see here, I'm picking up the pieces that I liked from the study to apply to the design. I'm not picking the whole unit as it is, 
By the way, I'm picking the elements in each design that I like. For example, I like the horns on the first helmet I drew and the design of the other one. So don't limit yourself to one piece as it is. Try to mix and match as many designs as you can for your character. Now this is the fun part, trying to design your character using what you learned so far. It's like a fun game to play. You are basically applying pieces you already studied on top of each other, making sure that they all work along together just fine. So let's start. I added the helmet from one design and made the horns go down instead of up. I added the shoulder piece but made sure they go on top of each other rather than under each other so I'm even changing the way the element work in this new design I added the chest piece by itself without the lower attachment then the belts then the arm pieces I added the sword and the rest of the torso and finally the legs and the feet pieces After defining the lines I ended up with this design I know it can still be modified and enhanced even more maybe even colored and polished to be a final character but it was mainly a study application to make sure that I don't forget different designs that I already studied. If you are willing to do the same exercise, I encourage you to do more than one design by the way, as an application. Go the whole way and make sure you use every piece you studied on different character design and end up with six or even more different characters by the end of this exercise. You can use the same idea with any subject you are trying to study. Make sure you apply what you learned right away so you don't forget it. If you drew animals for example, try to do animal fusion where you pick two animals or more and fuse the parts together and create new animals with different parts of the animal you studied. The most important thing to make it fun for you to do this visual library exercises so you don't get bored or forget what you learned right away. Well I hope you find this exercise useful and I will be interested to see what you come up with on your own. As for now, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.